According to British Ambassador Garrett Wood, Vietnam is facing a slew of challenges like increased salinity levels and extreme weather events, and the very dynamic economy needs energy to continue its economic development. So against that background, it's a big challenge to get the climate policy right. The ambassador therefore said he's very impressed by the commitments set out by Prime Minister Fat Minh Ching at the 26th United Nations Climate Change Conference of the Parties, COP26, in Glasgow, the UK, last November. So we were extremely impressed, very impressed by the commitments set out by Prime Minister Fat Minh Ching at Glasgow last year. Um, first of all, the headline commitment to join uh, 80 or 90 percent of countries globally who have now committed to uh, net zero in 2050 and then more specifically to commit to a transition uh, away from fossil fuels towards renewable energy to protect forests to reduce methane emissions so there's a lot of work that we can do together he said the international community also increased a commitment to provide finance to developing countries such as vietnam such as Vietnam. Now we want to work with Vietnam and other big um, uh, donors and institutions like the World Bank, the Asian Development Bank and, and other partners to ensure that climate finance is flowing to Vietnam, particularly to the grid. Regarding the Vietnam-UK strategic partnership in 2021, Wood said despite the COVID-19 pandemic, the relations have made a lot of progress in politics, security and economy. He highlighted this change of delegations in the year, notably the trip to the UK by Prime Minister Phạm Minh Ching from October 31st to November 2nd, and the official visit to Vietnam by British Secretary of State for Defence Robert Ben Loban Wallace in July. The highlight of last year was the signing and implementation of the UK-Vietnam Free Trade Agreement, which officially took effect from May 1st and is creating opportunities to businesses of both sides. We know that last year uh, trade increased about 16% compared to uh, 2020, so that shows that the, uh, the UK-Vietnam Free Trade Agreement is giving opportunities to businesses on both sides. For the COVID-19 fight, the ambassador said Vietnam has done very well in speeding up its vaccination program, which has saved many lives. Vietnam has successfully attracted uh, do, uh, donations of vaccines for, and, and has purchased vaccines from other countries. And now your vaccination rate is the same as or perhaps even higher than the UK. So that's an excellent achievement. Um, and within ASEAN, you are one of the leaders on the vaccination rate. In addition, Vietnam has also modified procedures of tracking and tracing to make sure that it can be balanced against living with COVID-19. He suggested the country focus on supporting the economy recovery and getting children back to school in 2022. The UK will continue to support Vietnam in the pandemic combat and coordination in science and technology, especially in tracking new variants, the ambassador pressed.